hello again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome to day two of Off the Board, the month long series for July. It is also mixed media frenzy. So, off the board, here is the lift and the layout that we will all be doing today. You know, my regular Friday gals. Now, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I was also gonna use product. Um, the product focus over with uh, Jackie on JQ Crafty, and I was still going with Cocoa Vanilla. Yeah, but we're in a new month, so I will have another video for that. <laughs> My bad. All right, so since the uh, mixed media frenzy um, lifts are off their board this month, pretty much was a rainbow theme. This is kind of emotional layout for me, and. Um, that is Gizzy. That is my old man dog. A lot of you have wished me uh, that you thought they would hope he would get better. Um, unfortunately, Gizzy passed away um, a week ago. Uh, a week ago, last last well, last Thursday, he passed away Thursday night um, in our in our home with us. So. Um, I wanted to go ahead and scrap lift this, but the following Saturday, we were on our way to um, my mom and dad's. We had cooked them dinner. It was a week, the week after Father's Day there, the weekend after Father's Day. And as we were driving, um, it was raining and it was sunny, and I looked at Robbie and I said, find his rainbow. And this rainbow <laughs> was simply perfect. It was complete. It arched right over my mom and dad's house and it was so bold and bright and vibrant in the sky. Um, Robbie unfortunately used his camera which isn't as on his phone which isn't as good as mine but you could see the purple. It was just so and I knew and that was Gizzy's rainbow. He made it to heaven so um, it was more of a peace of mind for me than anything. So, I'm going to go ahead and scrap lift um, Giz. Um, that was when he first got sick and he was laying on me and then his rainbow. Just because it's Gizzy and you guys know I scrap with my old man dog anyway. Um, I miss him every day. And uh, B as well. Bumble misses him a lot. She cries. Um, she's getting better, but she's still searching for him. And I tried to explain to her that she'll see him again, just not anytime soon if I have anything to do with that, because, anyway, so I'm going to take some chroma glaze and some velveteen glaze, and I'm going to um, just use my palette knife through one of these Stampin' Up! stencils. B must have heard her name, guys, because here she is. <laughs> it's fine, I'm dead. You're not going to want to go outside. So I'm going to just run it through my Stampin' Up! stencil just using a, a palette knife. And now the Velveteen glazes, um, I've been asked, like, what's the difference between Velveteen and Chroma? Or just in general, Velveteen glazes dry completely matte. So they're all shiny right here, but when they dry, you'll see that the Velveteen glazes are no longer shiny like the Chroma glazes are. They are matte. And I'm just creating a rainbow here. Um, just, you know, just a very fun rainbow. And I am mixing the colors together just slightly. And then I'm going to pull some of the blue down just a little bit more. I'm going to peel off that stencil. And then I'm going to set that to the side and let it dry. And it's so pretty. But yeah, that's a close to my heart stencil. So you can see where some of it is shiny and some of it is matte. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim it down and matte that on some black cardstock. And just to make them flowers and the rainbow pop just a smidge more. I just absolutely I love <clears throat> the Brutus Monroe um, glazes. Super fabulous. I am going to line it up just to see how much I need to trim off of the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and I get that here down. Now you notice I didn't put any gesso or anything on there because even there is a lot of mixed media on there, it's not 
wet mixed media that's going to, like the mists and stuff like that, that are going to seep through the page. Um, so, I mean, you can see it because Burgess Monroe has got heavily pigmented uh, colors so that they can stay true to color and are bright and beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this little word up here. Now this is from the Copa Vanilla Studios Legendary Collection. And like I said, I thought I was doing all Copa Vanilla Studios. So it kind of worked out though because um, the Daydreamer collection that I had um, just uh, embellishments left over from had a ton of rainbows. So I'm going to use those. Um, I'm trying to figure out where I want to put my pictures of Gizzy and his rainbow. And how I want to arrange his title. And the title is going to be Our Best Boy Adventure. Um, outside of Sam, he is, you know, I mean, you know, because Sam's a man now, so Gizzy was always my boy. Always my boy. He'll always be my boy. So I do take some dry adhesive and some liquid adhesive just to make sure that we get these uh, stuck down. And I'm going to plop that right there at a tad bit of an angle. Um, I cover up mostly the pink and the purple because, you know, they're kind of girly colors, and Gizzy was like a man's man dog. <laughs> oh, my sweet boy. So I'm going to pop this part of the title up on some foam. And I may actually pop the whole thing up. I'm not 100% sure, because I made this a while ago, and I knew the voiceover was going to be hard to do. So I'm going to come in and take all the release paper off and I'm going to run that underneath his photo. And then I have went, I'm going to go through and pull out, oh, I already have went through all of the items and pulled out the rainbows and everything that I want to use. And like I said, I was totally thinking to incorporate this into Product Focus Friday with Jackie and that's pretty much why I pulled out the Coco Vanilla Studios because June all month long we used um, Coco Vanilla Studios. But it's American Crafts this month in July, which today is July. So I went ahead and made another video <laughs> for the product focus. Um, all right, so best I'm going to pop best up as well. Now, boy and R are going to go flat to the page. I remembered. And just get all of, and that is the British Monroe foam tape as well. Super thick, super sticky, and super my favorite last part didn't work. thought it was going to work, but it didn't. I do, even though it is super sticky, you guys, that's mixed media back there, and it's like, you just never know what's going to stick, and I know that my, um, I know liquid adhesive hangs, and I don't want to find his layout all broke up, and then and later on, I go ahead and pop in this little row of rainbows underneath, basically covering up the car and builds. Yeah, I said that word, too. Uh, so I just go ahead and I'm going to start popping in some uh, rainbows all around the layout because that is what this is about. Gizzy got his rainbow and he made it to doggy heaven. Alright, and I'm going to run this one off the page because that's my thing. It's my jam. I'm going to go ahead and take some of the fun little word stickers. Um, that right there says you are my sunshine. I'm going to take these word stickers and just stick them around the page as well. I do want to thank everyone who prayed for Gizzy and sent him good vibes. He was, he had lived a good full life. He was, um, he had just turned 13th on, 13 on June 10th. Um, and... He was in congestive heart failure and his heart finally, the medicine just didn't work. Um, we got, we just, it was just too late by the time um, I had noticed anything was wrong with him because he, up until the, like literally an hour before he passed away, he was running around the yard playing. Like, it was so surreal. Um, he had had hamburgers and pickles and all kinds of fun things to eat that night for dinner. Yeah, my dogs are weird. They eat pickles. They're actually, they love cantaloupe. Well, did she be so loves camo? So, then we're gonna get a couple more things on here, and this layout is gonna be done. <clears throat> I will have linked down below everybody that is playing along with today over on um, off the board with off the board and all my variety gals. That will be linked down below as well. So that is gonna do it for my layout. Here it is. It's not exactly a, a straight lift, but it is on there. 
I did want to go ahead and write the two dates because they are about a week apart and I just wanted to write Gizzy Gat is Rainbow. And that is going to do it for today's video. I do want to thank you for watching. Thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to check everyone else out listed down below. Any any of those British Monroe products, I'll have a link for those too. Bye.